Hi, my name is Ennis. This is Never Stop Trucking. We are talking about seven uh, different things to pay attention to when booking a load. And uh, there are uh, other things that uh, you have to pay attention uh, to other than these that I'm going to uh, tell you about. Maybe I can uh, do another video soon about that. Uh, and then uh, also another note, um, you know, all dispatchers know, like when you call on a load, you know, what you have to ask? And the broker will usually tell you that right away, like the most crucial uh, information, like pickup delivery locations, the weight, uh, delivery, pickup and delivery times, the commodity, and then uh, other special notes if they have them. But these are other things that uh, you should uh, either ask or know or take into account uh, before you book that load. So let's start with uh, first thing, and that is uh, the commodity and company names. I don't ask uh, uh, for company names I, unless I uh, kind of know what it is, because uh, some of these uh, cities, you know, like when, when you have been doing this for years, uh, when they tell you a city, you automatically kind of know uh, what it is uh, and then if uh, they have an appointment a strict appointment then you would ask for a company name but uh, if you're a beginner uh, you should probably always uh, ask them for a company name for the pickup and delivery uh, sometimes you don't have to time you don't have time to do that uh, because like especially now uh, the markets are bad and you know a lot of people are calling and you don't have a lot of time to uh, book the load but at least when you get the rate confirmation then take a look at these uh, companies okay and then uh, the commodity uh, you should uh, always ask uh, what it is and what the company name is and then you can put them all together for example if they say uh, this is water coming out of coca-cola then you know exactly uh, what it is you know it's heavy you know it's probably going to take a long time to load and uh, unload and uh, most drivers don't like that so you can always uh, put these uh, uh, two um, pieces of information together and then uh, come up uh, uh, with a picture in your head like what uh, this load exactly is okay i'm gonna show you here like um, for example let's say uh, you're booking a load out of kentwood michigan and it comes from uh, a lax okay i know lax um, uh, I've been there a few times myself, uh, my drivers have been there all the time, and they are here nearby, near our office. Uh, I just uh, took them here as an example, okay? So when they give you a commodity, let's say you're doing like uh, aluminum uh, wheels out of uh, Lex, and uh, you Google them, okay? You Google Lex uh, trim systems out of Kentwood on Google Maps, you know, make sure you go to Google Maps and then Google them. Uh, and then it will come up, you click on the location. Uh, they have a lot of locations here in Grand Rapids, this one. Uh, but, uh, you know, you if, you if you have a lot of companies uh, that are named like that, then you ask them, like, what street they're on, what's the building number, and that kind of information. And then you can uh, go to reviews and see what others are saying. Uh, and it's usually drivers, okay? Uh, let me see. Now, these are all employees. Uh, a delivery molds, awesome shipping, receiving. Now, in this case, uh, Lex, uh, they don't have a, a lot of reviews from drivers. But let me let me try Coca Cola, uh, Grand Rapids. Okay. So these are the ones on Garfield Avenue, and you know they have 15 reviews, and then uh, most of them are bad. Uh, so this is about loading, uh, open 24 hours, unloading, <laughs> never come back here. Yeah, they're slow. They're very slow. Uh, so you can kind of tell, you know, you, you're getting water out of Coke on Garfield Avenue. And uh, you can see right away the, the reviews are bad. So maybe maybe you should avoid this load. OK, now next thing. Uh, it's good practice to always ask whether this is palletized in bins, in totes, racks, floor loaded, things like that. You just ask them, is it palletized? Well, no. Well, what is it? Is it palletized? Okay. Um, how many pallets? Um, you know, how heavy is the load? Uh, what, what is the product? If they tell you some kind of boxes, you know, shrink wrap, then, you know, that's, that's usually okay. But then this is what a palletized load uh, would look like. Okay, and then it's easier just to, you know, uh, like here, 
you know, forklift or a pallet jack, and they can just uh, take it out. So that means that this is uh, usually uh, a good load that it shouldn't take long to load or unload. But let me uh, put in here a uh, floor loaded load. See, like uh, these boxes here, all of them, let's do this one. The, this takes hours to load and unload okay so if it's floor loaded like that then it's it's not a good load you know you don't want it unless you can drop a trailer there uh, unless there's unless it's a high paying load and your driver don't mind but usually look at look at this you know like uh, this is just uh, too much okay so that's next thing uh, is the load palletized or floor loaded okay next thing are there any lampers there um, these are your lampers, you know, they uh, unload uh, loads for a fee, and this is a good good uh, presentation of the, what the lamper is doing. Okay, look at this. They're breaking these boxes and holding your truck there while they're doing this. This does not make sense, okay? Um, some companies do this, especially big ones like uh, CVS, uh, Walgreens, uh, they they like to do this, okay? And, you know, what they do is I think they sort them, you know, for their customers and they sort them for, you know, like orders and they put them aside. And then when the LTL trucks come in or the local trucks, then they just put them and then they count them as they go and they check everything. There is no need for the driver to wait for them to do that. Uh, this this is, uh, uh, you know, outrageous what they do. Um but these are the lampers. Uh, you pay them a fee to unload your broker, uh, reimburses you, and you know you don't pay it out of your pocket. So uh, why should you ask if there's a lamper? Uh, during the day hours, you know, okay, there's a lamper. You know, brokers, you know, they 99% of the time they reimburse you. But what about if this is delivering at night or on a weekend? Um, or if you're not available and then the driver calls you, um, you know, like they don't have any cash or they don't take cash or it's a lot of money, uh, they may call you for a, a check uh, or then you, you may call a broker or you may do a check for them if you're a carrier. But what if your driver calls you in the middle of night and you didn't hear the phone, your phone was off or on silent or on a weekend you were away, you were on vacation, you're something uh, is going on. Uh, so always, especially when, when the load is delivering at night, or on a weekend, always ask if there is a lamper so you can um, make arrangements with your driver uh, or be available uh, at that time to pay the lamper fee, okay? Okay, next thing, uh, can I get a reload from that area? <laughs> So if you're uh, sending a truck somewhere for, to an area that you don't know, uh, always uh, educate yourself if you can get a reload from there before you send the driver there. Like uh, You may get tempted with a good rate, uh, a very good load, uh, but it goes somewhere like uh, southern Georgia, Florida, um, like northeast, like New Hampshire or Maine. Uh, something like that and uh, you you're stuck there you know like now you don't know what to do there are no loads so educate yourself before you go to an area and then even uh, other areas because markets change a lot if especially if you're not if you have not been following them uh, you know the last few days like if you haven't had any trucks in that area so what so what you can do is uh, go here to uh, that board uh, click on market conditions okay and it will take you to this um, page here and then you will see uh, like where, wherever you're sending your driver you will see the market conditions in that area so let's say you're sending a driver uh, from Michigan uh, south and then you can see like uh, red is uh, good and you know like you click here on this area and I, you can even zoom in here to make it bigger so you're sending your driver here to Atlanta Georgia area and then it says you a lot to uh, like right here. Oh, let me move my. It says here um, load to truck ratio. So they have a uh, uh, two thousand two hundred loads posted, and they have uh, one thousand seven hundred trucks there posted. So it's it's a good uh, area. But like l let's see, you send your truck here to Ohio to Cleveland area. And then it's just, uh, look at that, like neutral, okay? So it's kind of almost one-to-one, -one, you know, one truck, one load. 
And then here, even like uh, you go to blue and very loose capacity, they have this fancy word. Now, this is new. OK, so they have um, more uh, uh, more trucks than loads here in northern Indiana, here in Fort Wayne area. Uh, so you can like before you send your truck, you can kind of see uh, what that area looks like. Let me see. This is green. So this is better than uh, blue, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah, this is this is how you can do a quick and then you, you also have a. Um, uh, you know, market areas, you can do, go by state, uh, you can go uh, by other factors here, like you see like states and uh, region, country, and then you also have a uh, prior business days, prior seven days, 30 or current. Uh, let me see if it will change uh, like prior business day. That was Friday because today is Monday. Yeah, see like current uh, Michigan is better today than on a Friday, okay? So it's it's better, it was yellow. Uh, so, uh, and then look at this, how this is changed. Now this is red, look at this. This is red now, and then on a day, uh, on, on, on the day before, it was green, yeah, that's really weird, okay? So that's how you can kind of research, like before you uh, send your truck to that area, you can research that area, okay? Uh, next thing is, uh, can a driver uh, legally deliver uh, in that area and pick up a load? On my channel, I spoke about uh, this a little bit. There is this one video. I'll leave that video in description of uh, this video. And then it will tell you uh, about, uh, you know, ways to uh, plan your trip and deliver legally and pick up a load legally. But you, you should always take that into account. Like if... Uh, if the driver is fresh on hours, and for example, and then the load is 500 miles, let's say from here to from Grand Rapids to Buffalo, there are five. There's 500 miles, okay, and driver is fresh on hours. Driver can make that easily, you know, unless uh, unless there are uh, some troubles on the way there, uh, but that's that's legal and that's doable. Uh, 600 miles to, uh, let's say between Rochester and and uh, Syracuse, somewhere over there. Uh, that's still doable, but it's a little bit tight, okay? Uh, over 700 miles, like 750 miles to Albany, that's not doable. So you have to take that in account. Like if you book a load that picks up today, uh, uh, you know, like any time today, let's say between 8 and noon, and delivers tomorrow at 8, you can't do that, okay? It's not doable legally. Uh, is not doable. And then even, you know, it's, it's a lot of miles. Uh, if the load is delivering tomorrow at uh, noon, then that's uh, probably doable, okay? So you always have to uh, plan on that. And like I said, watch that video. Uh, you will uh, see more about that in that video. All right, next one. Uh, can a driver either uh, stay overnight at delivery if they like to go directly to the receiver or maybe even shipper to pick up the load next morning? Or are there um, truck stops or rest areas near uh, there, okay? It it is not your job to you know find parking spots for drivers unless they like if they ask you can you help me out sure why not but it's not your job to do it all the time uh, but still um, let's say like we have this map here and I'm just gonna uh, use this for reference like let's say you uh, send your driver to New Jersey like like here or here where it's really busy, you know, like Philadelphia or, or even Baltimore and DC uh, right here, then just know that it's gonna be tough for driver to find somewhere uh, to sleep, to stay overnight, um, especially because this is crowded. Uh, it's hard to go, um, you know, during night hours through uh, all these tight streets and, uh, uh, find the company some some drivers will not do that because like what if you get there and there is no room to sleep or they turn you away or something so they will try to uh, sleep someplace before they get there but you know they probably can't find uh, you know a, a safe place to sleep here let me just go to this map this is a, a little bit easier to see uh, look at this here they're not gonna stay here during that they're probably gonna stay here and this is like 50 60 miles before uh, baltimore or here 
uh, or here even this area okay so they're just gonna stay somewhere here and then you have to plan that they're gonna be driving uh, another hour in the morning it, it's it's not that close there is a rush hour there's all kinds of things uh, you know and you have to take that into account and then you can just like uh, big cities you know big cities are dangerous at night and um, some drivers will not go there and sleep at night uh, even if they go can go to the receiver directly and they're just not the, uh, here in flint the other day um, like F F flint is <laughs> you know especially downtown now my driver was just uh, staying uh, in the front of a, um, a department store and they broke into his trailer and stole some things you know and uh, so it's we now we don't send him anymore and I mean, I didn't even tell him to go, but he just decided to stay there at night. Uh, but now I tell him, don't don't go there. Okay, so it's it's not safe. So you have to take uh, all these things into account as well. And then um, next thing is uh, uh, loads during different seasons. Okay, if it's winter, uh, just uh, like it's April 18th today. Okay, and look at this. We are having these uh, snowstorms here and snow and rain and just plan like today is monday if you're gonna send your uh truck like here to syracuse just know that it's gonna be tough it's gonna be a mess maybe don't even send the driver there you know or ask them if they feel comfortable um, so just plan on on these uh things like during winter uh, kind of always watch where the storms are uh, during summer, you know, we have uh, hurricanes in the south, the tornadoes in the Midwest. Uh, so th those kind of things, you know, should be taken into account uh, when you book a load uh, to go to a certain area during certain uh, seasons. Okay, so uh, those are those things that I wanted to talk about. And uh, thanks for watching. Like the video. Come back for more. I'll see you around.